going on guys? This is Mass, and welcome back to more Smite Conquest. Today, uh, we're actually recording a video, so that's cool. Um, a lot of stuff has gone on, and we're going to talk about that in at least the beginning of the video. I don't know how long it'll take, probably like 10 minutes to get through everything. Uh, it's been like 7 months. It's been a really long time. I never expected to take a break from YouTube for this long. Um, to some degree, it hasn't been a break as of recently. My cat is trying to climb up my chair right now. You, you gonna chill? He's being super needy. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's been a long time. It's been a really long time, boys. I'm kind of sorry about it. To some degree, I'm not, because, you know, it's my channel. Uh, but I am, I am also sorry about it, because I actually really enjoy recording YouTube videos. It's just, uh, Smite got really old for me for a while. I've actually been getting a lot more into it lately. I'm trying to keep myself from burning out, so I'm not trying to play too much, and I'll probably try and take it. Nice, he did get XP for that. Uh, a little bit slow in the beginning and probably not upload daily even if I can um and just mostly like if I get extra videos honestly just stock up on them in case in case I end up burning out at all but there's been a lot of stuff that's happened ow ow but the simplest thing to talk about is I burned out on smite it's actually really funny because I I randomly took a little ego dive into reddit and, and searched my name to see if anybody's like asked about me or anything or said anything about me um and I saw a couple different posts basically asking like where I've been because it's been a long time. And uh, I probably should have gone mid, but whatever, we'll just do smalls. And it was really funny. I actually saw a comment talking about how I was disappointed with season seven. And I actually forgot that that was legit a huge reason why I haven't been playing Smite for a while. Uh, it was really funny seeing somebody else explain something I had apparently explained at some point, which was, yeah, season seven was, oh my god, was it kind of a burnout season? And it's still season seven, but season eight's on the way. And uh, basically, when I've been recording the game and, like, you know, playing the game full time for years, and then seasons five through seven are basically the same season and same game, oh my god, does that make it easy to burn out? That was ridiculous, man. I'm being so greedy. I'm just, I am actually fighting for like half a mid harpy 1v2. I am so greedy. I don't think Thoth's dead. He's, he's being greedy as hell too. He's like, he's too, okay, he's fine, he's fine. I thought he might have dashed in, so that could have been bad. Um, but yeah, basically the game didn't really change for a while. I mean, it still mostly hasn't. And so, you know, it's just somebody that's played the game a lot. Like I've played it since beta. Uh, and I did take a break at a point in the past. It just, I, I burned out really hard. And so... Uh, I just, I, I didn't want to do it. Can you stop it, man? Stupid Hebo. Stupid Hebo. I hate that god. I love him, but I hate him. Hebo blinked? Where did he blink? What, what's he doing? But as far as why I haven't uploaded, that's mostly all there is to it. But there is a little more. Um, so another thing that happened that's part of why I lot, like, realized how burned out on Smite I was was I started playing Tarkov in February, which I think is literally when, like, I kind of had a few breaks for a while because I was starting to burn out, and then, like, the full break that has been, like, up until now. If I remember right, just pretty much entirely started because of Tarkov. I'm sure a lot of you guys at least have an idea of what Tarkov is. It's supposedly a, a realistic military simulation game. Uh, it's it's really not. It's really, like, it's, it's kind of like, um, God, what is it called, man? I don't play it. It's like Arma meets COD. So there, there are absolutely like mechanics in that game. Like you'd have in a lot of, Ooh, Ooh, give me that baby ass. Give it. Come here. All right. We got his beads off that. We got shell off that. Let me reflect the heart bomb in a second. Let me hopefully actually kill him forehead. Nice. Yeah. Sylve actually should have just dipped too greedy. Good stuff, boys. Good stuff. Too greedy. That's a dead baby. You should have known. Dude, I actually, like... I don't know. Maybe I would do this in other games. I haven't really played other MOBAs. There is just... Something just clicks in my head. It's not like... Once you play the game, it makes sense. But, like, I almost get, like, turned on when somebody dashes in and they're like, I know they're dead. Maybe that's extreme. But, like, I just love that about Smite, dude. When you see that jump or that dash or whatever and you're just like, I'm gonna fucking murder this kid. You know? That's just such a good feeling. Anyways, um, Tarkov, I got insanely addicted. I actually, like, got so addicted that I played it basically full-time and burned myself out of the game at one point. Like, I actually, I went, I went way too hard. Like, once the, there was a recent wipe, like, if you guys don't play the game, basically the game resets every, like, few months to a year. 
And so my account got reset and I was like, that's sick. I'm going to go hard. And I went and I had been going too hard and I just burned myself out. But that game had been super fun and realizing how much fun I had on that game made me realize how little fun I'd been having on Smite. And so basically, as soon as I started getting into Tarkov, I started getting out of Smite. And that's part of why uh, there just haven't been any videos in such a long time. I still really enjoy Tarkov. I'm definitely more over it now just because I've played it enough that I mean, I sunk like I, I've played it for what, seven ish months, because basically is the time that I stopped uploading. Um, I think I've sunk in game. I think I have a little over 900 hours. So like pretty good amount, man. Like for a while, for a while, I was legit playing eight to 10 hours a day um, and getting absolutely nuts at it. I'm not as nutty anymore because I'm not playing nearly as much, but so much fun for a while. Um, and I guess after Tarkov, I'm trying to think, was there anything else? Obviously Corona, but I've been, Corona hasn't been a big deal for me. I live in Oregon. Corona's not a big deal in Oregon. We've handled it pretty well. Um, I think like most, like we, we don't have, it's not New York city or anything. It's not like a crazy compact city where I live. So that's not a problem. Oh, okay. Nope. Nope. That's four people. <laughs> nope. I really wanted to kill Hebo, but then four people showed up. Um, <laughs> God damn it, dude. That's so lame. But, uh, yeah, no, we, we've handled it really well. We're not like New York City, uh, and we also have had actual, like, law enforcement for it and stuff like that. Like, we've had actual quarantine. Uh, we're not opening, like, all of our schools up and just like, hey, everybody just catch it now so we can get this over with, which I don't think is their plan, but it's basically what's happening in, like, a decent amount of states right now. So I've been fine. I haven't caught corona. I'm good. My family's good, which is really nice. Um, but one thing that did happen, which some of you might know about, especially if you live in the U.S., is there was a fire over here. And I straight up evacuated my apartment because the fire got within like two miles of it. Uh, so that was crazy. Maybe it wasn't two. It might have been two miles. I don't know exactly how close. It was super close. Uh, so I got to move back in with uh, my dad for, oh God, for like a week, which was fun. So <laughs> that was, uh, that was like a spontaneous quirky thing. Just like, oh, fire. Like in, not, not in the city, but like really close to the city. I live just outside of Portland, which is the major city in Oregon. Um, like legit, I live like a mile outside the city and the fire was like miles from my apartment. So that was kind of cool. It was actually like my, my apartment didn't burn down or anything. They ended up containing it. Um, but that was actually like ironically a little bit fun. Cause it was like, I don't know. It was kind of a big deal. You know, I don't, I don't expect to get hit by a fire. Can I kill you and not die? No shells busted. All right, we're dead. I thought I thought we'd have follow up too. I didn't realize Thoth kind of Thoth got a little too spooked there. I think Thoth easily could have killed him. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I get why he was spooked. He was one HP, but like, there's literally no way Rama reaches him. So I think you should have just pushed up, and we could have at least gotten the kill even if I died. But it's fine. I was greedy. It's okay. Um, yeah, I think that pretty much catches us up though. Fire, Corona. Smite got boring. Tarkov. I think that mostly catches up to where I'm at right now. Oh, in point number five, um, this is actually kind of a big one. I wanted to start uploading months ago and I could have managed it, but oh my God, was it tilting? My internet went to shit because of Corona. Um, basically my like area I live in had a massive change in people that were going to work and people that started working from home. And uh, my internet company, Xfinity, which is by far the major provider in the area, just straight up like, I, I don't know what the like the technical terms are for like their infrastructure around here, literally got overloaded. And still to this moment is, is overloaded. So basically the past probably like four months, my internet was incredibly inconsistent and was almost never fine. Like it would constantly jitter and like around like 30 ping difference, like between seconds, between literal seconds, it would jitter 30 ping, but then also randomly jitter up like a few hundred and, and have packet loss too. So that's kind of crazy to play any online game on, but especially Smite, because Smite's one of those games where it really tries to keep you where the server thinks you are. You're, you're, you don't have like a little room for like a little wiggle room in your client which means the game feels absolutely terrible when your internet's bad. That's fine. It's actually good that high res does that, but oh my God, it feels awful. Bob, we're probably dead. Please miss. Oh, he's not even going for me, is he? He's not, he went for Athena. That's awkward. I tried to like dip out and make sure we didn't get Hebo ulted and then dip out and make sure we didn't get Rama ulted. 
and it turned out like the moment I got to mids, we were fine. Whatever, it's it's whatever. I don't know how to fight right now, man. I'm gonna stop going mid. These mid fights are terrible. I like I just can't do that much. Sylv's like a huge cock block to Nem. Um and Hebo's terrifying, so we're gonna figure something else out. Let me kill Rama though. Never mind. Never mind, that man dipped super hard. Bah. Uh can I get this? No. One more. One more camp and then we're good. Let me get level twelve too. But yeah, uh, really trash internet for a while, but my saving grace has finally come. I had to wait. I finally got in an appointment with CenturyLink, which is the number two provider here, and got their internet, which is way lower quality. It's also DSL, which is, I, I don't know much about internet, but as far as I know, DSL is just worse than, like around here, you literally, there's almost no fiber. You have to get either cable or DSL, and DSL is even worse than cable. Uh, so I had to switch that, but ironically, their internet service has actually been really good so far. I've had it for a few days is why we're finally able to upload and uh it's actually been good it's done really well what's up nike i think you're fine i can't tell did she see me or did she just not care oh i'm trolling dude I, okay either, i i can't kill her either way honestly but i trolled a little bit <laughs> i missed i missed two autos that i should not have missed but i think she just gets out there because we would have had to land i think like five ish autos you really telling me to do totem, my man? Totem's not that important. I'm going to camps. But, but yeah, I think internet's finally good. So we get to start finally recording. I'll probably stream a little bit. I don't know how much I'll stream. Um, with this internet, my downloads like plenty for gaming, but I don't know if my upload's enough for streaming. So I'll have to test that out and see how that goes. But what's sick is like, so far the connection's been really smooth, which is awesome. Cause it's, I actually like, I had no clue how bad my internet was until I got that I made the switch rip. Are you kidding me? Oh, he's warding. It's fine. Some people, man. Some people. Thought he was trying to trying to 1v1 me? Excuse me? Thought like go through the three went in that reach. Alright, let me drop red. I don't really want to fight Rama too much right now just because there's always boys lurking. Oh shit, never mind. He just went in hard. Okay, never, never mind, he just dipped art. God damn it, dude. I gotta buy some sentries right now. I actually need sentries so bad. Let me see if Ram will dash again. What's up, bud? Nice, we got the one dash off. He should just be dead. Nice, good stuff. Good stuff, me. Alright, let's do that. Wait, they died? In duo? What? I thought, like... Am I tripping? I swear I saw like one HP Cupid and like it just looked free. It's kind of funny. Well, that ate shell. I don't think we kill Sylv, so I'm not going to ult him. Nah, I, don't, I don't think we kill that man. But we do yoink the farm though. Oh my god, I'm so farmed right now. It's kind of ridiculous. I've just been... <laughs> Can you guys hear that? I used to not let my cat in my room because he'd be kind of a menace, but when I moved in with my dad, I started like, we literally had to just like, me, my girlfriend, and my cat were all just like locked in a room, basically. Um, that, that makes it sound like we're in prison. We weren't in prison, but like we didn't have like a whole place to ourselves because, you know, it's his place. Um, but uh, I, I couldn't lock him out of the room anymore. I didn't trust him around cables because when he was a kitten, he would like eat him. <laughs> he wouldn't eat him, but he would like nom on him. So I kept him out of like my, my office, basically. And now that I let him in, I think we might have random meows in the videos, which will be kind of funny. Can we clap her? Does Athena have cooldowns? Let's find out. Jump. Thank you. Nice. Athena, Athena yoinked the kill. I mean, she didn't yoink it. She wasn't like, let me KS this real quick. So that's a little bit unlucky. But that was a good gank. <laughs> yeah, she didn't calculate how exactly how much damage can I do to get it with the back end of my three. But it is a little bit unlucky that she gets that there. I'm tempted. I brought up like a while ago, like quite a while ago, um, doing Tarkov videos. And I actually experimented with it, but I never actually like officially uploaded any. I'm kind of curious, like now that I'm getting back into YouTube how to like implement that. I don't know if I'll just like stream Tarkov or if I'll actually give it another shot. Cause it's just, it's really weird doing videos on that game. The raids are so like slow a lot of the time. And then the action a lot of the time is very, 
short pace. So there's a lot of downtime. It's actually like, it's a really good game to stream, but oh my God, the video is just like, I mean, the videos are normally VODs. Like the, it's just, it's really, it's such a pain in the ass to like edit stuff together and make a good video. Cause, uh, cause the game ends up being so disconnected when you end up editing it. Please don't kill me, sir. That's a good beads. We're so, we get so clapped if we don't beads there. There's three people mid, they should be able to kill, right? Okay, I have 3k gold, so it'd be good to back. You dickhead. I think we're just gonna back. I, yeah, I think we're just gonna back. I, I have 3k. Let me get an Arendite. Um, yoink. Let me get a Sentry Ward. I already brought it up, but like... I feel like these nerds are warding a lot. Which is good, you should. Uh, <laughs> but but I don't like it, so I wanna, I wanna kill, I wanna kill some of them. This man went Typhons before, what? Is this good? I swear that's just bad, right? Like, I remember when Typhons came out, it was just like, people had to like, talk about how it's just literally bad to go Typhons without other life seal. It's still true, right? Fa, Hit me. Rude. Don't run from me, Thoth! Where's this Cupid at? I swear I heard Cupid dash. What's up, bud? Don't kill me, please. <laughs> Thoth, no! Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. He missed. It's fine. We still kill him anyways. I'm really sorry if I wrecked my mic with that laugh. My laugh has been known to get a little high-pitched for microphones. And ears. And anything. Um, oh my god. How did I live there, man? That was actually like, I don't know how he bow potatoed his ult so hard. I think he probably didn't know my dash was down, right? Because he like, I'm assuming he just blink insta ulted. He did blink, right? I think he did. Um, I'm assuming he like instantly ulted for me to, uh, well, for him to miss. Because I wasn't like, I wasn't juking. I was just, you know, in a fight. Oh, here's Hebo. Surprise. I guess I'm dead. And then the man whiffs his ult. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how he lived there without, without me having beads up. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Sentry Ward's OP, baby. Let me yoink this real quick. Dude, Nem feels so... Hang on. Don't mind me, just here to clap some cheeks. That's disgusting. I have five levels on him. He just doesn't stand a chance. I feel kind of bad about it. What was I saying? Oh yeah, Nem feels nuts right now, man. Nem feels so good to me. Given it's like been a while since I played the game consistently, like Nemesis just feels wrong. I think a lot of it's Serrated Edge. I mean, I, I don't know. Ironically, we're doing work without it right now, so maybe it's not even that. Just the item meta. I don't know. The the items you build on Nem feel really good to me right now. Oh wait, we can't. I forgot they made this more expensive. We can't finish this yet. Um, I guess I'll just. Like, back in a second? I don't, I don't know why I didn't buy the tier 2. I think we'll just farm up a little bit and get serrated. Because we don't really need anything weird right now. We don't need, like, a, like an anti-CC item or anything like that. Enemies at the gold fury. But are they, though? Are they at the gold fury? Damn, we're going to get level 20 in, like, 19 minutes. I actually super farm this game. Bing. Oh, dude, new Soul Eater? We are going to have some content with new Soul Eater. I love it so much. I love new old Soul Eater so, so much. They did my boy Glad Shield dirty, which is good because Glad Shield was a dirty, filthy item and it needed to be nerfed. Um, But oh my god. Oh, Soul Eater. Hit me. Hit me. Bop. 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 Okay, you're tanky. That was a jump, right? I think. Come here, Sylph. Oh? Oh? No, come here. Oh my god, I'm just- I'm ab- She's so tanky, but I'm chonking her. Look at these autos. How much health do you ha-, ha What? 2700? How much defense? Okay, I don't know. I feel like she should die faster. I was just hitting so hard. That was really gross. 
Yeah, what were we saying? I don't remember. We were saying something. Nemo P. I don't know if that's what I was talking about, but Nemo P. What's up? You gotta stop missing, man. I'm trying to reflect on you. Oh, I missed the auto there. It's kind of awkward. You're not doing this? Alright. Ooh. Hebo on Hebo action. I'm down. Get him. <laughs> Hit me. All right, I'm Oom. We're back in. Let's go. Uh, let's go get something. I don't even know what we buy here. What do we buy here, man? Oh yeah, we we're talking about Soul Eater, right? Soul Eater is so gross now. We're definitely gonna get some solo lane content with that, and just solo lane in general. Now that they changed Warriors, I feel like solo is way more fun. Warriors blessing, not not like the class. Uh, classic. What do I build? Nemean sucks now. Or well, on Squishies it sucks. So we can't we can't abuse that like you could for a few weeks. Is Berserkers any good? It might be. When we get low, we do a decent amount of damage. We get really fast attack speed with that. I'm going to try that. We're going to try Berserkers Nem. That's probably really good. We do get a, uh, a little bit of percentage pen out of it too, which should be nice. I don't know how much we need it against this team. This seems mostly squishy. Um, especially, I feel like the people we're scared of are squishies. But it's probably a good item. Nem definitely gets low a decent amount, right? So we should be able to proc that passive. Especially if we get low and then three, that's probably like five head, right? We can drop below 40% and then three back to a higher health, but then we still keep the passive during that. That'd be kind of sick. All right, can I clap your cheeks? Is that cool? What do you mean it's not cool? <laughs> okay, I'm going to assume she's console. I probably shouldn't have ulted that. Damn, Hebo is spooked as hell. I'm really surprised he didn't go on me there. Oh, stupid Archer hit me. Are you kidding me, man? Archer canceled my blink. I don't. I mean, I don't think we would have gotten anything big. We might have gotten Hebo ult if I got my blink off there. Because he doesn't have beads. Alright, let me see if this guy actually pushes mid. Oh, you're so greedy. You can't hit me. I'm Nem. This is so dumb, dude. I feel so bad for people when they get in fights like this. Some gods just actually can't fight Nem on their own, and Rom is one of them. Um, and I just I feel so bad for this guy right now. Whenever he's 1v1, he just dies. I have to mess up so hard to die to him 1v1. If he has ult, maybe not, because he can ult and just like buy a lot of time, and then like that a lot of the time it's gonna like bait my shield and stuff like that, so like it's awkward. Um but dude, Nem3 is so dumb if you can't CC it. It's actually such a just a ridiculously broken ability. Okay, calm down. Bing. Oh, I, I think he meant Pyro. Yeah. <laughs> I think he meant Pyro. I don't think we should do big FG. We don't have a... Yeah, we don't have our ADC here. Silv, what's up, bud? No. Can I land my autos, dude? Oh my god. I'm just potatoing for no reason. Who we clapping? I feel like we could have clapped Silv there. Maybe I should ult him. Nice. Diving super deep. Pre beads? Oh, I didn't need a pre beads. Uh. Hmm. Rama's not really low. Yeah, I don't have mana for this either. Yeah, I'm actually gonna back. <laughs> I don't I don't have mana for three abilities, and two abilities isn't gonna be enough because I need everything. That's too bad, man. Unfortunate fight. At least Thoth got out. It's true that Art has pretty much just been sitting in dual lane though, so it's gonna be a lot of our fights are gonna be 4v5. Damn. <laughs> he really seized his opportunity right there. Actually almost got bad. Okay, tell me this man is not. He's Okay, it's Nike. Nike's this greedy. That's probably acceptable. I thought Rama went to speed. Oh. Unlucky. It's the same if I'm there or not, I feel like. I feel like you should never be saying that unless you're just saying your team got absolutely clapped.
<laughs> Athena's been just like absolutely spam ulting me whenever like I get remotely close to people, so I'm gonna tell her to chill. <laughs> Cause like I feel like there's been maybe one fight I've actually gotten the ult down on people. It's normally just like I run up for poke and then there's a lot of people there and I can't just I can't dive even if I have Athena ult on me. And so it just gets wasted. I think she should save it for like Thoth. Or for later in fights. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know, that's kind of what I mean though. Like I can't just dive for people. I'm not that OP. I am Nem, but I'm not that OP. It's not that big of a deal. Athena it's not that good at the stage of the game. Nike, how's it going? Can you not build Midgard? I hate that item. Clap this man's cheeks. He's so he's so split. Hit me. Thank you. I actually got really chunked by that. Evo ult's nasty. <laughs> I straight up shielded the entire, like, the entire ult, and it still did half my health. Nice. Good fight, boys. Yeah, Hebo is way too split there. Thoth stays alive, so that's good. I'm gonna try and clap this man at the bottom if we can. <laughs> Poor guy killed himself. <laughs> Poor guy. Alright, let's see if we can do left Phoenix in a second here. Yeah, we have like a fat wave in left. I can probably do this on my own. I'm hoping. And we should do FG. Oh my god, it's such a fat wave. Yeah, it's always good, like, whenever you have, like, a huge opportunity like that, like, we just had such a fat wave already pushing in a Phoenix just at the end of the fight. It's so good to go for Phoenix and then go for Fire. Get, like, that objective and then push farther down the map. Because if you do it, like, the other order, there's just no way it's going to work, right? Like, they spawn right next to the Phoenix. They just kind of run right to you. Damn, I think we actually... Do we get our, like, last item here already? Because that's going to be kind of gross. Whoops. Don't mind me just dying. It's getting clapped by FG. I'm assuming Hebo's dead. Oh, boys. Don't get too greedy. Uh. Can we? Should be able to get something. God, what would be good here? I'm kind of feeling the blood forge. Let's try it out. We've been getting so many kills that I think that shield might do a lot of work. There's probably a better item for me to build, honestly, but I think we'll try it. See if it does stuff. Honestly, I, I probably should have just gone Mantle. <laughs> Mantle's just a dumb item. We can also get rid of Golden Blade soon, because Golden Blade's trash late game. I was forgetting about that. So if you guys have any gods that you want me to play, given it's been, you know, over half a year and all, uh, feel free to let me know. Any any gods or, like, builds in general, I don't think items have really changed that much since I left. Um, but uh, if there's any gods, any builds that you want to see, definitely feel free to let me know. Obviously, like, Sukiyomi, I'm sure, is one that people want to see. Um, I'm sure I'll do a Sukiyomi video very soon. I might even get a Sukiyomi video before this video goes up. I'm not totally sure. Um, but yeah, like, there's, I'm sure there's some content that you guys want to see. Feel free to let me know. And, uh, and we can get that done. Ooh, he might actually live this one. Good ult. Try and land that on somebody. Oh my, I beat's way too late, man. I, I'm so, I'm so lucky that Hebo just potatoed. But holy shit, I should have just beats in the beginning. I should have gotten out of the Cupid ult. We got a dip. Oh, team? Team? Damn. I thought they were actually, like, they did really well. That that fight went really shit. I fucked up. But <laughs> I thought they were actually, like, about to DSI and win. So I got pretty hyped for a second there. Yeah, that was really good, though. Because I didn't actually manage to kill Raman. They still managed to, uh, to clean up really hard. Three for one. Nice. Alright, I think they get Phoenix on their own. So I'm going to push mid. 
Yeah, so greedy on my part, man. I thought I could run out of the cupidal, so I just like I didn't want to beads, and then I realized I wasn't getting out of the cupidal, so I did beads, and then I got hit anyways. So that was kind of bad. Uh, do we try to end? I mean, we have three phoenixes. What the Rama? That I, okay? He probably yeah, I think he did that on accident. He's either an absolute Chad or he did that on accident. Oh, stupid wall, man. I forgot it works like that. If the wall's like it all in the way, it'll block it. No, Hebo, come here. Eh. All right, whatever. GG, man. Yeah, it's pretty funny. I definitely could have played this game better. Um, <laughs> we, st we still go 18 and 1. <laughs> Nev's just such a good god, man. It's actually ridiculous. So, so strong. I feel like as far as uh like a like just junglers in general are concerned, she's probably like my in my top three right now for just absolute hyper carries. Yeah, <laughs> dude, look at this. Look at this. These guys did fine. Maybe maybe not art. These guys did fine. And we still did 38k. That's actually ridiculous. So much damage. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Remember, if you want to see any gods, any builds, anything like that, any just content in general that you want to see, feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to give a look and uh, and try and plan out some of the content that we can do soon. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed. I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to rob my own story in the search for fame i'm sitting here in this empty room walls keep tumbling down